I'm Colin McInnes. I'm a virologist here at the Morden Research Institute and I've been working with uh, pox viruses for my entire career. I, I do wonder whether the uh, gene drive technology could be used uh, in, a, in a different way. Uh, that is, you know, not in the removal of the grey squirrels, but possibly in making them uh, more resistant actually to the squirrel pox virus, you know. Could we actually devise a, a, a way using the gene drive technology to um, prevent the grey squirrels from being infected and therefore, you know, reduce the, the um, amount of virus that is out there? Um, if we can't stop them getting infected, could we use the gene drive technology to stop the grey squirrels from passing the virus on to red squirrels? Um, I do wonder whether the, you know, whether the um, sex biasing is the only option for the gene drive technology. Um, I am a pox virologist uh, and I have to say that I have no idea at the moment how uh, we could use the, the gene drive technology to, to um, change the susceptibility to the virus. But I do wonder if that's an alternative that, that we should be thinking of. I'm certainly not an expert in gene drive technology, but to me, if it works, um, it is probably a, a good way of achieving uh, what the people who are using the immunocontraceptive are trying to achieve, but hopefully in a, a less precarious or a less dangerous way in terms of uh, having an effect on other species. Um, so I think it is an interesting technology, but it is a new technology as well. And uh, having said that, hopefully it would not have effects on other species. I think, um, again, the natural caution is to uh, just be sure that there wouldn't be any other effects on, on other species sharing the woodlands. Uh, I think we've got to remember that although uh, grey squirrels obviously do cause enormous problems for the red squirrels. They um, cause problems in commercial woodlands in terms of the quality of, of uh, wood. Um, but grey squirrels are also the only wildlife that uh, a lot of town dwellers see in their back gardens. And, and I, I'm not sure that there would be universal acceptance of removing an entire species from from the, the landscape um, or, or the country as a whole. I guess very much with the, the, the red squirrel, grey squirrel problem is, you know, the, the species have been removed to protect another species. Um, and I think when it's a deliberate act like that, I, I'm not convinced that nowadays um, a deliberate act like that is acceptable. Uh, I agree that it has obviously happened um, in the past, uh, numerous occasions, but I think, um, you know, the, the, the world has changed over the last 100, 150 years, and, and uh, I don't think, generally speaking, um, people would find removal of, of a species from the landscape acceptable. Now, obviously, there has been accidental uh, removal of species as well. But again, I come back to this being a very deliberate act of removing a species from the landscape. The fact that it would be a deliberate act, I think, would be unacceptable.